Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Mitchell, and I'm going to do a little demonstration of the workspace that I have in Power BI uh, so that you can see the name of this is ABC Global Using Student Work because I've um, I like this one pretty well of one of the students, so I actually liked it better my, than my own, so I'm using it. But one of the things I like about a Power BI is everything I add uh, becomes interactive. So if I click on, for example, Nancy here, it's going to show that she sold in one state to three different customers. Uh, it looks like she, you can see where she sold quite a bit of uh, these different ones. Uh, and if I click on this again, it just toggles back uh, you know, to, so that you can see it. So I can click on um, another person or I can pick on Laura here and you can see it go into the state and so on. Again, if I toggle this back, it takes, takes it back. The other thing that's on this page and one of the reasons why I wanted to use this was that the, uh, it has this, you, you can add questions, you can add a question thing here where people can almost type in using normal English language and get an a answer. But you can also set these up so if you anticipate you may have some questions, you've got it. So like uh, total revenue, I can see what that is. I can say uh, how many cities are there that we sold, which would mean we'd also have that many states. I can sort the data by category and then it brings up a way to sort that if I want to actually look at it. Uh, this is also, you know, if I want to click here and just look at beverages, I can see how many of my salespeople and where it's sold. It looks like beverages is sold pretty well. Uh, so you kind of get an idea. So we can, again, just toggle it back by clicking here. Uh, the other thing I want you to notice is that we have several pages. So one of the things you may want to think about is how you could set this up and then have a separate page for Nancy as an example and all your salespeople. So like page three here, I'd have a, uh, another uh, thing with, uh, with different salespeople. So maybe I could set the goals for 2015 with my, with Nancy. Uh, and what I want you to notice is we've got the slicer here and this has Nancy's data up here. But if I go back to page one, that slicer doesn't impact it. So I can go ahead and do, let's say Andrew here, and then I'll go to page two and I still have Nancy. So I can unclick this and get all the data, but if I'm wanting to just sh to focus on one salesperson, I may want to use that slicer. But what's advantageous about this is that you could duplicate this page and have one for each of your salespeople and then just use your slicer and then change. Uh, for example, if I go here to Ann Larson, um, she sells to three customers in two states. So I would, all I'd have to do is just change that text. So that kind of gets you, gives you an idea. Now I just want to show you, if I go uh, I, on this page two, I've got some things here. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit and um, just bring over, uh, I'll click on this so we see it. So I can change that immediately to uh, a state or in this case the world that I think we're not quite ready for world view but uh, kind of give you an idea um, we can we can play on this page so you can see things we can have a Q&A and all that but let's just let me show you how you would I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this off so that you can see we start with a clean slate these are my visualizations so I can bring them over so I can bring over just a regular bar chart like this and you know make it a little bigger move it down here uh, and then here's my data I go down here and let's say I want to have it uh, revenue and salespeople so very quickly I can uh, just cl by clicking have the information in there and you these are the headings of the Excel sheet so this should kind of make sense to you and so now uh, it really wouldn't make sense to have a flight slicer like this so we can we may want to change that slicer. Uh, let's let's basically get rid of this slicer here and put in a different one. And maybe what we want to do is have something that relates to beverage, bev or not beverages, but to categories. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, if I can find my categories, ah, up here, click. So now I have my categories here. So if I want to see who is selling baked goods or who is selling candy, 
I can do that. So th basically this slicer, and I could bring another visual over here. In fact, let's uh, bring another visual over here. Uh, we'll bring the old standby here. And in this one is my customers. Ugh, I have trouble clicking. So here I want to have my uh, customer name and I want the revenue. And so now when I go up here to this and click my dry products, I see that uh, dairy products are bought by company I and company H and sold by Robert and Nancy. So you can do all kinds of things with this just so you, you know, you kind of get an idea here of uh, what we're doing. You can format your visual, put background in it. You can add your logos. Uh, you can, uh, there's just so many, you, you just need to play with a few of these things so that you get an idea, but hopefully this is going to help. Uh, the other thing I wanted you to notice was that with, this is called ABC Global Using Student Work. I'm going to go ahead and say save here and I'm going to, uh, go to the ABC data set and find out if I can find my 2023 here. Oh boy. Let me pause it for a minute. Okay, found it. All right, so here's my ABC Global, which actually uh, I've just added that recently. But here, remember the quick insights that we had done before and we had these all these on here? And I said, oh, you can click this little pin and it can go somewhere. Well, let's say that one of the things we want to do is talk about, um, you know, we want to talk about outliers for some of the prices or maybe we want to talk about candy prices going down I know that's one here candy so maybe I want that to go, talk about that and I I can select a dashboard that I want to put it on let's see um, and we were just in a report so I'm not gonna I'll just have to show you where I'm going with this we'll just go with Nancy's sales and I'll pin that to her uh, we don't want to edit the mobile layout, but now if I go to Nancy's uh, dashboard, it's going to have that uh, this graph on there. Let me get bring it up. Okay, I found that it. it took me a minute. So here's Nancy. I'll go ahead and open that. This is another one of the ones that I created, uh, and what I did is I have a fake picture here of Nancy. I thought it would be really nice to have that on there, but you you see I have this uh, that the by customer name and revenue and this looks really nice and then I show her state and then I've got that but remember what I just copied over from uh, the quick insights it was about the candy sales are going down because maybe I want to talk it over with Nancy and find out if we should be carrying candy or is there a problem with it notice too that this also has a ask a question about your data so uh, we were able to pin this into uh, pin that item into the dashboard not the report but into the dashboard so hopefully this will give you some ideas of how powerful this is uh, and um, essentially I hope you enjoyed it thanks for listening